All right, I admit it, I set Barnes up. But I, I knew the police couldn't make it stick. And in the long run, nobody got hurt, not even Barnes. What about that girl in California? Well, she might have been inconvenienced a little bit, but she wasn't hurt either. In the meantime, she walked away with $25,000. You've got to stop playing so fast and loose with other people's lives. Well, Bobby, I gained a little time. A time that we wouldn't have needed, by the way, if you hadn't let Jack slip through your fingers. Well, he didn't have much of a choice, J.R. Well, if you're not outside for sore eyes, I never thought I'd see you again. Neither did I. The way Bobby was talking, it sounded like you were off in the woods someplace licking your wounds and was never coming back to civilization. J.R. That's all right, Bobby. No, I guess I have been feeling pretty sorry for myself. Uh, can I fix you a drink? Yeah, Scott's Rock sounds good. Jack, I hope your being here means what I think it does. I've been giving our conversation a lot of thought, Bobby. I've decided that you're right. Jamie wanted me to have her share of Ewing oil, and I owe it to her to see that her wishes are carried out. Does that mean you're going to stick with us and fight Cliff Barnes? Whatever it takes. I got to take my hat off to you, Jack. You are a Ewing through and through.